The pre-tertiary teacher unions recalled various education policies aimed at improving education in the country. The leadership of the unions emphasized the Anamuamensa education policy, which sought to improve senior high schools. They also cited the Education Regulatory Bodies Act 2020, Act 1023, and the Pre-Tertiary Education Act 2020, Act 1049, both geared towards enhancing teaching and learning in the education sector. However, the unions were surprised that the current Minister of Education, Dr. Yao Ose Edichum, intended to lay a free SHS Act in Parliament without consultation. The General Secretary of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, Thomas Musa Tanko, asked the government to consider introducing a funding act instead of the free SHS bill. According to NAT, the government should also consider addressing challenges related to the capitation grants and other issues affecting the education sector. I've heard people talk about suspension. No suspension. This law can be put aside for now. What we need now is funding for pre-tertiary education in Ghana. As we are talking about school feeding is a problem. School feeding is a problem. And we are saying that feeding is to provide children with nutrition meals. So go ahead and check the food they are eating. How can one city provide you with a nutritious what what? This is just grammar. But you will not find it in the bowl. The president of the National Association of Graduate Teachers, Nagrat Angel Kabonu, called on the Minister of Education to suspend the Free SHS Act and allow for broader consultations. I want the president to stop sending any bill of such this sort to Parliament. They should suspend it immediately and, 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 and allow wider stakeholder engagement if they want to reform education. And we also call on the Parliamentary Select Committee to uh, desist working on any such document that have been sent to them by the president. You know, now we have a case in this country where document from parliament can be stopped from going to the parliament. I think parliament can also have the ability of stopping president's document from coming to parliament. But all that we are saying is that there is no wide that stakeholder consultation. They have not solicited inputs from stakeholders and we don't even know what is contained in the said bill. The president of the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, Kenali Awudu, pleaded with the sector minister to engage with stakeholders. We have the senior high school that the constitution says that after the basic education has been made free, that one should also be made free. And it has been done. So there are already constitutional provisions backing the free senior high school. And we also have the Pre-Tertiary Education Act. So if you want to bring in a free SHS bill, it is just good that you carry the stakeholders along. We are the people that should be speaking to the media today defending it. But that is something we cannot do because we don't have an iota of idea about it.